Would you believe me if I told you that there are some organs in our body which were previously undiscovered? You would be surprised, right? I couldn't believe it either. I mean, how is it possible to overlook an organ in the age of some of the best medical technology with such an advanced understanding of the human body? We all thought we already had every part of our human body well mapped out, but that's what happened. The recently published article in the journal Radiotherapy and Oncology explains this discovery. There are three pairs of major salivary glands and over 1,000 minor glands spread all over the mouth and throat in the human body. Scientists from the Netherlands Cancer Institute have discovered a pair of unnoticed salivary glands between the nasal cavity and throat. They noticed this gland when they were studying patients with prostate cancer using a new type of scan called a PSMA PET-CT scan. The salivary glands are also sensitive to PSMA. That's what makes them visible on scans. Along with the three pairs of major salivary glands, another pair of glands was visible very clearly on the scans. Researchers observed the scans of 100 consecutive patients and performed dissection studies of two cadavers to confirm its presence. All 100 patients showed signs of these glands with an average length of four centimeters. Histology and 3D reconstruction of that area confirmed the presence of these glands near the torus tuberius. Scientists have proposed the name tuberial glands based on the anatomical location of the glands. So, how did we not know about these glands previously? These new glands are at a poorly accessible anatomical location, under the skull base, which is an area that can only be seen using nasal endoscopy. See, that's why these sneaky hidden glands weren't discovered until now. Despite our technology and great leaps in the medical field, so, what is the significance of these newly discovered glands? Usually, salivary glands produce saliva, which helps us with swallowing, digestion, tasting, chewing, and dental hygiene. This discovery could be clinically significant in oncology because while treating head and neck cancers using radiotherapy, a high exposure of radiation to the salivary glands can result in dry mouth, difficulty swallowing, impaired food intake, digestion and speech problems, and increased risk of oral infections. For this reason, our major salivary glands are considered as organs at risk during radiotherapy. That's why doctors try to avoid delivering radiation to these glands during radiotherapy. But since we never knew about these two burial glands before, we never considered that area as organs at risk. And these new glands have always been exposed to radiation during radiotherapy. Researchers analyzed the data of more than 700 patients who had undergone radiation treatment and found that the radiotherapy dose to this area was associated with complications like dry mouth and trouble swallowing. This is why patients experience side effects related to salivary glands after radiotherapy. Even when we avoided delivering the radiation to our major salivary glands, this discovery is not only surprising, but it is also good news to head and neck cancer patients. It's also a good reminder of the complexity of the human body. And that even now, with all of our advanced technologies, we are still learning and discovering new things about it. Now that we have learned about the existence of these new glands, we can spare them during radiotherapy to avoid toxicity. That way, we'll be able to improve the patient's quality of life after treatment. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.